A home in Hanover, York County, will be featured on a national TV show tomorrow. The homeowners say they're living in the middle of a violent haunting, and they invited Fox 43 to take a look inside. So Fox 43's Katie Kairos took the tour, and uh, Katie, you weren't exactly prepared for what you saw. No, I had no idea what to expect, and I know a lot of people don't believe in this stuff, but you can take a look at what happened to us inside the house and decide for yourself. This home looks quiet from the outside, but owner Deanna Simpson says several ghosts are haunting it, and she's caught them in photos and recordings, including this one. The majority are bad, dark forces, unhuman. Just a couple minutes into the interview, our photojournalist Nick felt his wrist burning. Are you okay? Did you get scratched? He was behind the camera, but Simpson knew what had happened right away. Oh my gosh. He'd been scratched. Simpson says it's happened to her, her husband, and friends many times before. That's unbelievable. God bless you. You know why? Because you're telling the story. Because you're putting it out there. Because they don't want, that is their, I'm just telling you right now, that is their way of a warning. She took us on a tour of the house. She shot video of this door. If that is you, would you please shut that door? Oh my God. It appears to close on its own. You're, you want to scare me so bad? Show me. Shut that door. Go ahead, shut that door. Oh my gosh, I about fell to my knees. I trembled because as soon as I said it, you never think that's going to happen. Simpson says she often sees orbs on this stairway behind the door. It leads up to the master bedroom. This determines whether I sleep upstairs or downstairs. This part of the master bedroom and bathroom is an area where we've seen a lot of activity so far, and both Simpson and her cat have been pushed down these stairs before. While we stood at the top of the stairs, Simpson recorded on her cell phone camera. She was hoping it would catch orbs, but it shows something else too. It looks like a hand. Oh, what? Mine, did you see that? Simpson says it looks like someone she's seen before, and it's not a ghost. It's a demon. It's been seen in the basement. When it came on me, I couldn't breathe. I, I, I couldn't scream. I, I couldn't move. So far in this house, Nick has been scratched. I've been touched and pinched. We've seen strange lights on the walls and heard noises, and we haven't even gone down to the basement yet. So where is the place where you saw the shadow man picture? This photo was taken with a deer camera in the basement. Uh, this picture right here is the shadow man. Um, he's about seven foot tall. Simpson says she's scared by what's happened, but she and her husband have lived in this home for seven years. Her grown daughters refuse to stay here. We put everything into this house, and we do want his move, but we would have to list it at such a price to where we could recoup what we put in. Meanwhile, the family has invited mediums, researchers, and priests to visit the home. The results of one investigation will appear on the Travel Channel show, The Dead Files. Simpson says there's a history of grisly deaths in the house. I have to prove to people our life, so that way they'd understand. Whatever you think, we weren't in a hurry to come back anytime soon. Well, this Dead Files episode on the home will air tomorrow on the Travel Channel, and there's going to be a lot more going on on that show about the history. <laughs> okay, that is bizarre. Um, um, this is our videographer, Nick Petrillo, who shot that. You're serious. You actually got scratched. I did get scratched. Um, basically, when we walked in the home, I didn't feel anything at first. And then as soon as we sat down um, and I was shooting the interview with Katie, I felt it was something like a piece of hot metal almost. Just, it, it was really strange. I never felt anything like that before. And then I looked down on my wrist and I noticed there was a, a scratch there. I wasn't going to say anything at first. And then Deanna asked us, asked me, is any is are you okay? Did you get scratched? And then I I admitted I, I noticed that I was like yeah this this actually happened. It, I, I've never felt anything like that in my life. D did you believe in ghosts and demons prior to this happening? I liked watching the shows, but okay. I actually didn't really believe in it until this actually happened. I was very skeptical until this. And so has your opinion on it, on it changed as well? Both, I mean, both of you. This I mean, yes. I mean, I thought I didn't think anything would happen in this home. I mean, we brought a Ouija board because I thought we'd have to bring it in and yeah. see if anything happened. And.
Deanna didn't even want us to bring it in the door. She thought it would be she, it just dangerous with what's going on in her house. And now, I mean, there were just things that we can't explain that happened there. You know, she has a lot of photos of people with scratches that had been in her house before, but I never thought that was going to happen when we went inside the home. Wow, that is really interesting. How does she even sleep at night? <gasps> oh, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> They're trying to play a trick on us. I don't, she's <laughs> brave. She and her husband are very brave to, to stay, be. and I think that they've just tried to come to terms with it. Um, but it's an unusual feeling inside that home. And when he got scratched, I almost thought we'd have to stop the interview and leave. We were like five minutes in. I didn't think we could stay. It was such a scary feeling. So it's pretty unusual. All right. Well, we wish her the best. Yes. Definitely. Thank you both so much for sharing your story. We'll be right back after this.